right, here we go. The Fast and the Furious just soft opened here at Universal Orlando. Go check things out. All right, the first section of the queue, it's, um, there's no roof in here. It's kind of just a, a empty warehouse, but not a whole lot to look at, and a, a big fan. After you leave the first warehouse building, you come outside again, and there's a, you know, a very reminiscent scene if you've seen the movies. Of course, I guess they cannot use the term Corona as it's your basis superior, but uh, very reminiscent from the film and things like that. As you're uh, kind of just in another outside area, before it looks like you head into another warehouse. So we're in the next room. It's pretty neat in here. We've got some of the, uh, the cars and the different films, a big old warehouse building. Don't think this is air conditioned. This could be a problem for in the summer. Also, I'm guessing this would be where your merge point is for your virtual line meeting up with your, uh, your virtual line or express meeting up with your standby guest. But uh, it's actually a pretty neat building. And your homies, welcome. All right. If you're a car person, this would be right up your alley. Got kind of one of their logos on the wall. Oh. It's a solid room. Obviously, this would be very popular for uh, tourists who feel like that to take pictures either next to the car, pictures of the car. I love this one with the lights underneath it. About to venture into the next room of the queue, and uh, okay, this one has air conditioning in it. That is a plus. You've got a uh, musical truck, and we're watching highlights of the movie, I guess. Uh, air conditioning in here is a big plus. More random car parts and things like that. Hey, what's going on? This is Tej, playing Big Brother, of course, watching over the last race as it winds through the streets of San Francisco. You see my man Dom Toretto, he's leading the pack as they race to the finish line in Southern. You see, that's where the after party is going down, so we will load y'all to the party buses soon. Hang tight. There's a uh, ludicrous, I guess, giving you some facts about what we're about to do. <laughs> Bullet for fist is always important. And then a big old truck with a grappling hook. Your party goers have arrived. Yeah, they just got here, Mia. Hey everybody, I'm Mia, Dom's sister. Well, another race just wrapped, and it looks like my brother with another car for his collection. Honestly, I don't know why anybody challenges him. Me either. Well, we're meeting up at Sullivan's Garage for the after party, and while Tej works on your rides, you guys enjoy the break room. My brother calls this the family room. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. And the faces you see on these walls are our family. When I'm in this room, I feel like we're all together again. So... Welcome to our family. Welcome to the family. Oh, hey, Tej is calling. Hey, Tej, you're up on the monitor with Mia. All right, all right. What's up, Mia? Hey, Tej, just welcoming these good people to our family. How are their rides coming along? The rides are ready to roll out and roll out in style. Yeah. All right. I'll let them know. You guys have fun at the party. Bye, Mia. Bye, Mia. All right, Pat, let's get these people on their way. Send them over to the war room. You got it, man. Peace out. Peace. All right, you heard Tej. Looks like your rides are ready to go. So I'm going to send you right on over to the war room. Say hi to Jamie for, for me. But be nice to Jamie. It's Jamie's first day alone. Okay? Just treat him like you would family. Hey, Jamie, I'm sending him over to you. Okay, um, hey guys. <laughs> Jamie, I think you didn't hear him. <laughs> Um, so you guys make nervous. Oh God, too many. Um, oh hey, um, welcome to Tej's War Room. This is where he does all his like cool tech magic. So all the cool, interesting, expensive things. So you can look, but don't touch. He'll he'll kill me, literally. Just try to. But um, enough about that. Um, I'm just here, kind of monitoring things. You know, make sure everything looks nice. You want to get your party buses ready? I heard that's kind of cool. You guys want to party? Yeah. Right. Woo! Party time. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I can't go sometimes, you know, I don't know, dance, they got me here, like, watching things, but, that's cool. Oh, guys, he's calling me, hold on, guys, hold on. Hey. Jamie. Yeah. The buses are here. Okay, great. You want me to get these people on their way and roll it out? I can send them for you. Oh, and Dom, I can get it. Hold I got on. this, Jamie. Oh, okay. Dom, that's fine. what up? Tej, just got a heads up from Hobbs. The FBI is about to raid their location. What? Hold on. Oh, man, no. they always oh, ruining our Where? fun. What's it gets worse. Yeah. They're leading yeah. Owen Shaw right to your door. Uh-oh. Shaw, that cockroach we beat down in Spain? Yeah. 
What's he got to do with this? Uh, Nothing yet. And let's keep it that way. Get those people on those buses. You need to start bugging out right now. And get that turbo truck ready. I'm sending Lenny there to pick it up. I'm on it. Hobbs needs our help. He needs our team. Spread the word. But keep it in our family. That's just us guys, please. And keep it quiet. Please be quiet. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, I got it's Hobbs. Yeah. Hobbs, my man. Oh, okay. What up? <laughs> Sorry, Brother Taj, no time for chit chat. I just sent you a brief on FBI agent Novak. Has Toretto filled you in? I got it. Yeah. He wants us to get everybody over to the party at Sullivan's. Sounds like a plan. That party is a ready-made diversion. Keep it going. Yes, we right. need to discuss how you're going to get all those civilians out of there without tipping off the FBI. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's too many people. That's okay, awesome. hold on. Let me get everybody squared away, and we'll talk offline. Gotcha. Copy that, Tej, and let everybody know. Shut off your cell phones. We don't want Shaw tracking your locations. Cell phone, guys. <laughs> okay, Jamie, you heard the man. Uh, yeah. It's about to go to a whole nother level. Oh, okay. Send everybody to the loading dock. Okay, I can do that, boss. Well, you guys heard Tej. You want you guys to head on to the loading docks? Please shut your phones off. You do not want Owen Shaw tracking you guys. The party seems like you got a whole lot more crazier, so we don't want anything else to go wrong. But please, I got you guys. Your family, be safe, guys. I'm trying to watch you in here. Please take care of yourselves. You're so welcome, man. Be safe, please. Welcome, guys. Okay, okay. All right. We're going. A couple of ramps, I'm assuming, to get up to the ride vehicles here. This is a trivia game you can download. She was like, she was like, she All right, so the trivia game is in the Universal Orlando app. So if you already have the app on your phone, you already have the game. I don't know where it is on the app, but it's on the app. We need a little office area. And okay, yeah, we're definitely at the loading station. You see the, uh, the vehicles and such right over there. So there goes the party bus. Uh, no filming on the ride, so uh, this is where I'm going to leave you until I get off. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into my thoughts on the, the, the ride itself. First of all, I thought the queue was okay. Um, it's really great if you're into car stuff, but for me, it's just kind of okay. Uh, pre-shows don't really add much. The second room, the war room, is kind of a cool space. Uh, for me, at least, the pre-shows are short. I'm really not a fan of rides that have any sort of pre-show. Scene one is just a dark hallway with some simulated movement, and you watch screens that are hanging from your bus. Um, not really a good scene, not really a bad scene. It's kind of a fine scene one. Scene two is actually a giant physical set, an alleyway with all sorts of fancy cars. Very well done, and this thing is really, really tall, too. This must have been, like, uh, 40 feet tall. It gave me very much uh, great movie ride vibes. I honestly think scene two here might be the best part of the ride. Scene three is the Pepper's Ghost Effect from California with the characters from the film. It's it's decent. I love that The Rock refers to somebody as Cookie Puss, an insult he once hurled at professional wrestler CM Punk. Uh, speaking of wrestling, the ladies in the scene are kind of less dressed up like the Godfather's hoes. Uh, moving on to scene four, which is the 360 scene from Hollywood, and this is not so great. Uh, bad animation, kind of looks like it's a mediocre video game with some incredibly super cartoony action. In, in one scene, Vin Diesel is unbelievably the size of a helicopter that he's hanging from. It's very strange. Uh, riders are blasted with an, just an absurd amount of fog and water. Oh, come on, really? Again? Is the normal response after this happens for the third or fourth time. Uh, the, the scene is like trying to screen all the really, really wacky, completely nuts parts of a Fast and the Furious movie into two minutes. And also, the whole thing ends very abruptly with no farewell moment. And then, boom, the ride is over. Overall, my thoughts, uh, not, not so great. The ride's not good. Uh, the ride, it feels cheap. When they brought King Kong over from California, they plussed it up huge. Much, much more so than... Uh, they did with Fast and the Furious. Now, the ride, on the other hand, is not completely awful. I had a lot of fun in a it's-so-bad-it's-good kind of way, sort of like a Mystery Science Theater 3000, and I do like it better than other things in the park, like, you know, Minions, Shrek, or Jimmy Fallon. Also, uh, another good thing about this ride, capacity seems to be about double that of King Kong, so this ride should just mow through people. This is going to be a capacity machine. And, and th but that's still, that main 360 screen portion of the attraction kind of feels like it was a ride designed for idiots. Uh, I really feel that with the size of land that they had, that this attraction sits on, and how massive the Fast and the Furious franchise is, we really should have gotten a very, very much better ride. Final thought, I guess I, I didn't completely hate it, but it's also not good. Thanks for watching, guys.